water cube is on, on the Olympic Green and the water cube and the stadium sit either side of the ceremonial axis, which is actually a due north axis from the Forbidden City. The two buildings, the stadium and the water cube, are designed um, to show China's self-confidence, uh, to do with China you know, showing that they can match the best in the world, and in these cases I suspect eclipse the best in the world. Um, but I think there's something more subtle in there as well, that they are, I believe, on a journey from the, from the monumental um, communist architecture surrounding Tiananmen Square, and in fact Mao's mausoleum itself right in the middle of Tiananmen Square, to a future which will be more about conserving resources and, and building buildings more delicately. The, the water cube, I think, is um, a deliberate attempt to, to reduce its consumption of resources as well as providing a, a symbolic building in that we're using solar energy to heat the pools, we're using solar lighting, natural lighting, uh, we're using ETFE cladding to minimise the, the actual material in the cladding, but also the weight of the building that minimises the structure that's required to resist earthquakes. Well, until you actually go into a building, you don't really know what it's going to be like. And the, the architect at one time suggested that if it was a box of bubbles, then being inside it may be a little bit like being underwater. And I hate being underwater. <laughs> so it worried me that until... But when I went inside, it was not like that at all. It was a totally up, uplifting feeling of quality of light, natural light, flooding into the space and just... You know, wasn't at all like being underwater. I love the water cube because it, 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 is, it comes from some fundamental engineering principles to do with heating itself, lighting itself, being structurally efficient. Um, they, they were added to a, a structural geometry that provides a, a high degree, I think, of visual satisfaction, if you like. Pleasure comes out at the other end. But also, underneath that, there's a simple bit of sort of poetic lyricalism, which is that we have a building of, that's made of water, about water, that looks like a box of bubbles.